Demon Slayer, Terraria. Put them together and you get Kometsu no Terraria. This mod has OP weapons, insane accessories, and buffs that made me so fast I couldn't even control my character. But I didn't start off OP. My playthrough started off just like any other. I was getting wood, building my insta houses, and getting pecked mercilessly to death. While in the caverns, I got Hermes boots in like my second chest, it was insane. And I also got fledging wings at this sky island. After making an instavator, I got my first sword from the mod. Well, it was less of a sword and more of just a stick. After getting thoroughly disappointed by that stick I was given, I got a boar head. This is a nose case thing and I love a nose case, so this was great. Also, look at these stats. This thing comes in clutch early on. Now, I was hoping to be able to do I of Cthulhu first try, but I just ended up getting embarrassed. Now, I don't know if I'm getting better at the game or something, but this is my second try fighting King Slime. Second try. Normally, I don't beat him until like 10 tries because I'm bad, but I guess I'm getting better. I just gotta lead him off every time. Lead him off, lead him off, lead him off, lead him off. Dude, he's so low. Oh my god, there's no way I actually did him for once. I actually beat him. A surprising victory aside, this goblin army took me like two in-game days. It was so annoying. But I did end up getting the Goblin Tinkerer and the Tinkerer's Workshop out of it, so... Get me a Tinkerer's Workshop. Okay, but look at this. I got Hanafuda earrings. These things are insane. Tanjiro's earrings lasted me pretty much the entire game. Now I'm buffed out of my mind. I got accessories out the wazoo. So it's time to rematch the Eye of Cthulhu. Now don't tell anybody you heard this, but I was 100% clenching my cheeks this entire fight. I got him. Oh my god, I got him. Oh my god, I got him. After looking at the recipes for the mod, I went down into the dungeon and got really lucky getting this water bolt. I used the water bolt to create the Wawa breathing style, which is... It's not from the anime! <laughs> I don't... <gasps> Look at this. Wawa breathing. <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually... Re that's insane. The right click attack for the Wawa breathing style bounces off walls and also penetrates a lot, so I knew that Brain of Cthulhu would be no problem. I wonder where he is. Okay, um, hello? Okay, this is gonna be close, but. Okay, never mind. That was. <laughs> that fight instilled the confidence in me like never before, so I went right into Skeletron, even during the Blood Moon. That confidence was gone in about half a second after I got pulverized by Beyblade Skeletor. I, bro, after taking a little look-see at the recipes, I found that Hellstone Ore, if you use three of them, you could make some Nishirin Ore. So make 44. I just want to see if I can make Nishirin Bars somehow. Before fighting Skeletron again, I wanted to buff myself a little bit more, so I went and fought 50 demons in Hell so I could create the Mizunoda rank patch. Finally! Alright, I'm out of here. No, I'm not. 
the Mizunoda rank patch. It's warding. Damn. Now that I was a full-fledged demon slayer, Skeletron was just a punching bag. There you go. Okay, cool. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he's one health. I got this. Easy. The only reason I wanted to beat Skeletron so badly was because of the dungeon. In the dungeon, there was the alchemist table. In the alchemist table, I could use to create demon blood. Look at that. I just took it. Now hold her there, buckaroo. I'm not done just yet. I used 10 demon blood to make Michael Jackson's blood, which made me an even stronger demon. Oh, I'm just burning even if I'm like inside. What if I'm like down in the caves? Okay, I'm good down here. False moon demon. I then upgraded my patch and yet again made myself a stronger demon. All that work. I'll take a swig. I had completely forgotten at this point, but this flame lash I just got can be used to craft the ember breathing style, which is insane pre-hard mode. And even at the beginning of hard mode, this sword was so good. Whoa. Oh, hey, silly me. I almost forgot to show you guys me just absolutely dogging on the queen bee. Burn, 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 baby, burn, burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. Ooh, burn, baby, burn. Okay, this is like really easy. That's hilarious. After getting some sunscreen so I could actually walk around at daytime, I went and did the wall of flesh. Let's try this now. Oh, this is definitely better. This is definitely better. Yep, 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 yep. This is like, okay, this is so much better than the worm scarf, like straight up. I'm about to beat him, right? This is easy. This, okay, this sword's so much better. Yeah, I'm sticking with the uh, ember breathing. While getting my titanium armor, I didn't realize that Rengoku was just in my house already. Oh, wait, Rengoku's here. Hey, what's up, bro? Wah wah. <laughs> wait, okay, that's kind of insane, though. Even though I was super buffed after getting Rengoku's cloak, I still feel like Skeletron Prime is the easiest of the mech bosses, like, in vanilla Terraria. I don't know why, it's just, it's, he's always been the easiest. Come on. This is like kind of easy actually. I've also gotten better at the game from playing a lot because I've been playing this game a ton recently. Let's go. After you defeat one of the mech bosses, Rengoku allows you to buy more swords from him. These breathing styles were so cool. Thunder breathing is my favorite. Thunder breathing is my favorite breathing style from the anime, so I got that first, but I was honestly pretty disappointed. Before doing anything else, I wanted to upgrade my rank patch and get some hallowed armor, so I beat Skeletron Prime again to get some more hallowed bars. I needed a lot more platinum to get the rest of the breathing styles, so here's me beating the Brain of Cthulhu like a bajillion times. I'm gonna do a little showcase here just show you guys what each of the swords does, because I think they're pretty sick. And then... That's a Razor Blade Typhoon! Well, that's awesome. You throw tornadoes. Oh, 
although they go towards the ground. That's kind of cool. Ha! Surprise! We're doing the destroyer! Oh, that's better. That's better, alright. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No. That's not okay. After making the destroyer look like a worm you would pick up off the ground as a toddler, I got a cursed flame breathing style sword. And this thing? It did something weird. Nah, because why does a sword have a self-destruct button? That just... whatever. Anyways, here's the twins. Alrighty. Well, this should be an easy fight. And... Cool. After fighting all three mech bosses, I spent an ungodly amount of time getting the red devil banners needed to upgrade my patch. You know toe? You know way? And then I should be able to do it once more. Kino toe. Okay, 45%. I don't know what it is about this mod, but I've spent so much time just farming. Just getting the materials and money I need to get the good loot. Like, this is so annoying. This upper moon blood took way too long to get, but yeah, I'm, I'm an upper moon now. I'm in Upper Moon. That's Doma too. That's really cool. Oh boy, I can't wait to fight Plant Mommy with my water breathing. Alright, come on down. Pantera! Come on in. Oh shit, um... Also, look at this save, dude, that was clutch. Oh, that was close. I then proceeded to crush through the lizard temple. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, golem time. Yay. And you're almost dead. And you're dead. Nice. I don't know how I always forget about Queen Slime, but here's me getting the gelatin crystal and uh, it's fight time. Oh, I can. And you're dead. At long last. I'm literally him. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm literally Ren Goku. I'm literally Ren Goku. Dude, 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 this is daytime damage. Duke Fishron is really easy if you're fast, and let's just say I'm a speedster. Alright, alright, let's, let's go, 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 let's go. I do a ton of damage, I do a ton of damage. Okay. Having Razor Blade Typhoon already is pretty insane. Oh yeah, fight after fight after fight. It's time to fight Tom Cruise. Come on, buddy. Now you come down here. I'm shooting laser beams. I totally ripped through the pillars without dying once, 
and on to the Moon Lord we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a close one, I can already tell. All we gotta do is dodge. I'm surprised, dude. This armor is crazy. Come on, one health, one health, one health. Okay, let's go, dude. Moon Lord defeated, but that's not the final boss. That's not the final boss. I gotta defeat some weirdo named Zalgoth. I didn't know that guy was a part of Demon Slayer. I'd assume it'd be Muzan, but no, it's Zalgoth. With only a few things left to do in the mod, I got to work right away becoming the Demon King. Let's see what it does to me. Remember how I told you guys at the start that I was way too fast and overpowered to control myself? This is, this is where it happens. There we go. And now I'm... Oh my god! No. After becoming lore accurate Yurichi, Zalgoth was looking pretty scrumptious. Okay, I'm too fast. I'm too fast. I'm too fast. Also, he's like weak as hell. I'm so confused. Yo, Zalgoth, you're weak. Uh, Zalgoth. Hello. Okay, there's no way I could become more overpowered. This is so stupid. I didn't even know that I could use this demon blood to become a demon god. Does it do anything? Demon god? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I had a few issues. I'm just gonna let them be known here. I couldn't get moon breathing from the moon lord like you're supposed to. So I had to spawn it in. I wasn't- I literally fought him like 20 times and I didn't get moon breathing once. So I- I just had to spawn it in. Using moon breathing, I crafted demon moon breathing and sun breathing, which were both ridiculously OP. Breathing style sun. It's forceful. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I had to spawn in the Empress of Light. I don't have a Surface Hollow, so I, I just couldn't fight her, so I had to spawn her in. But here's me just fighting her for fun because there's nothing else left to do. And by fighting her for fun, I mean instantly dying because sun breathing is really slow for no reason at all. I grew a few brain cells and decided to do her at nighttime this time and with demon moon breathing because it's faster and more fun to use. And you're dead. Alright, this really made me angry. Sound breathing apparently existed in the mod and I just didn't know how to get it. But it was absolutely the most fun one to use. It's the most fun breathing to use and I just couldn't get it the entire time. Like what the hell man? So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed me beating Golem first try for once. And uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.